Emotional scenes outside the state's coroner's court today as two feuding families came together and put differences aside over the tragic death of 42-year-old Russell Rowcliffe. Today, wife Sharon forgiving Frank Murray for the forceful push that eventually led to her husband's death. I don't hate you and I'm sorry that that happened. Yeah, me too. Rowcliffe died in hospital three days after being pushed off this porch by Mr Murray. In that incident, Rowcliffe armed himself with a beer bottle filled with petrol, a sock and a lighter and attempted to firebomb the Heath Crescent home with the belief that the Murrays had thrown two rocks through the window of his home. Brother Michael Rowcliffe tried talking his brother out of the confrontation. You would have wished to have been able to stop your brother on that day. Yeah, I wish I could have, yep. I wish I could have turned his head around to save everyone from this. It's an extremely tragic loss for the Rowcliffe family. While Frank Murray did forcefully push Russell Rowcliffe backwards off the porch, today Magistrate Mary Jerram found he was acting in self-defence and if Russell Rowcliffe did ignite the makeshift petrol bomb, residents inside the household at the time may have been killed. You'd be very thankful that uh, this has come to a close. Yeah, I'm glad that it's come to a close and um, yeah, I, I believe the decision is correct. Though for Frank, it doesn't make the situation surrounding his actions any easier. My condolences do go to the Rowcliffs. Um, I really didn't want this to happen. Like, it was just, it's just a very bad thing that did happen and I'm just sorry that it, yeah, it did. Both families hoping for new beginnings. I'm sorry about all this and I just hope that we could all be friends after this. It's all over, the two families can move on and try and put it behind us. Dean Foscarini, Win News.